we're supposed to be having the New York trial this week. I, it just doesn't. And somehow the government just sent discovery to Trump that was requested a long time ago. And, and Alvin Bragg thought they got all of it. And then they just sent some this past week. And now he needs time to review it. And so does like Alvin Bragg. a million Bragg. documents. So, so they, it's like, so the prosecution <laughs> had asked for all this documentation. Trump's side got it a year ago. They just got it dumped on their front door like last week. So Alvin Bragg had to go, we need 30 more days to extend it. So I am tired. And I want you guys to know, I don't want to do another Armageddon update or do another Seriously. podcast about mm -hmm. this asshole. But, and here's why Trump works. Here's, here's why. Because he does all this shit, and it's happening now to me, is that we are all coming to a place where we're just fucking tired. All right, fine. Just let him do it. And someone pointed out on the news today or yesterday that what he's doing is he, the longer he makes you wait for this stuff, the longer he pushes it. Mm -hmm. At one point, you forgot what he did. Yeah. At one point, you yes. don't you don't know anymore why yes. why are we in this situation? He's using time as a as his weapon. That's yeah, his shield because the memory fades. Yep. Don't forget, people, that this man sent people. I was watching video of the uh, January sixth thing. People had poles were breaking windows. They were beating the shit out of police officers. They were ganging up on them. Fanon got they, they zapped. They tased him. It caused him a heart attack. We, they, one guy died. Uh, they were throwing a fire extinguisher at cops' heads. Like, don't forget. I love go watch that footage if you have any question. And the media, I blame the fucking media. Do you know why? Everybody, and I'm talking across the board: CNN, MSNBC, the most pick the most liberal site. Everybody seems to be talking about this guy like he's a normal candidate. Yeah, it blows my mind. You were just talking like, well, Trump's, you know, the presented. I watched Steve Kornacki, who I respect, going, well, you know, Trump could get this one and this one. Hey, hey, Steve, why didn't you say guy who tried to overthrow the government? The traitor Trump could get because that would be biased. But it's not biased if it's true. The thing that blows my mind, though, is that, for example, we were talking about this last night. He is now opening his rallies, playing a different national anthem. It's the one that he recorded with the January 6th choir, the, the hostages, criminals, the hostages, the hostages. And he walks out at his rally and salutes. And these people have their hands over their hearts to this other national anthem. Sung by guys in prison for trying to end the, they're singing the, the national. So let me just say, make my point. He is now in that rally saying that. It was a peaceful day. They're hostages. They're being held by crooked Joe Biden and they did nothing wrong. I'm going to release them on day one. And then we watched the video yesterday where he, when he was still in office, the day after January 7th, goes and records that video where he says the violence that took place on our nation's capital yesterday was unprecedented and uncalled for and the people will be punished he admits how violent January 6th mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. He details it. And now all those right wing people, some of my family included, are saying it wasn't an insurrection. It wasn't violent. Nobody died. Um, Wait, the, uh, nobody Sidnick died. Didn't no. die from that. He had he legally technically had a heart attack is what it says on the. But that's probably because he was being hit in the head with a fire extinguisher. But that's their stance is that he died of a heart attack. And we talk about this. So, so we much. have a video where he says this happened. Yeah, he it was say, violent he, and it's bad and it should says, never happen. Whoever did this, it was against. We are a peaceful country. We shouldn't do this. Yes. You can't go against the United States government. And now yes. he's saying it didn't happen. And everyone's like, yep, it didn't happen. But this is because he spent the first, whatever, three, three plus years downplaying it, saying it, it was something else, right? All right? He did the same exact thing with the vaccine and COVID and all that shit. Yeah. And right at the very, very end, after it was all the vaccines rolling out, and he's like, you should go get the vaccine. And then he's out. Yeah. He's full of shit. They don't he care, He spends all though. that time. How do they not care? He, he That is. he says everything and contradicts himself and because blames Reagan everyone. Dis because Reagan disassembled the education system in the 80s. <laughs> And, and what ended up happening is now those people are now grown adults who don't have any training in critical thinking. They can't think through it. They're just like, and the, the problem is this, is that you, you, you can watch him say one thing, him say another thing, diametrically opposed to what, to uh, whatever he's talking about. You can go to the rallies of this time, 
the people said what he said the first time, mm-hmm. same exact people said the same, changed their mind and said the second thing. Like, so he's- Well, he spends, it's all that time that he, after they have been indoctrinated with the initial bit of information and it's, and it locks in and they, and they hold on to it and they never listen to, if he says it three years later from now, they're already convinced. They've already got it I baked in. Today, it's almost like they listen for their one thing. Yeah. And yeah. then they, that's the one they hold on to, yeah. even though he then contradicts himself mm-hmm. and changes. His, it's like, it's the craziest th- th- thing. Then ever. they even make excuses for that and say, like, oh, he's just saying that because of the deep state is going to, or whatever. Then they even make up bullshit oh, yeah. that he's saying Ma- it yeah. because of something yeah. else. Where, what's what's yeah. going on with the deep state? Because uh, have they, have, has the deep state um, turned well. on our, your chips yet? Guys, your, your microchips, no? I built a magnificent business which helped rebuild New York City and state with amazing, oh. unparalleled, historic um, properties and tons of cash. Got to yell all caps. Which Crooked Joe Biden and his maniac persecutors, oh, he's got another little name, are trying to wrongfully and illegally take from me a bond of the size set by the Democrat club controlled judge in corrupt racist Peekaboo Letitia James unlawful witch hunt is unconstitutional, un-American, unprecedented, and practically Im- practically impossible for any company, including one as successful as mine. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just. Uh, Rupert Murdoch had no problem. Hold on. And he was three times as big as a bond of the size set by those people is impossible for any company, including one as successful as mine. But if it's successful. Why would, couldn't you pay it? Wouldn't it be easy to the pay? The bonding it? companies have never heard of such a bond of this size before, nor do they have the ability to post such a bond, even if they wanted to. I'm sure we could find a bunch of companies that you see the setup, though. Even if they wanted to, they want to. They mm-hmm. just they, it's mm-hmm. the money. It's the, it's the settlements too big. Yeah. To see his setup, oh, to see him just slowly. Him. You see him just slowly right. working. Yeah, by the way, this is so big that insurance companies can't even cover this. It doesn't matter. It's not about me. Right. It's about the number. Yep. Oh my God. He posted a video of Rachel Maddow. He's like, he's very busy. He represents fake polls. It, and this must be from his decades of, for, for him to be able to do pull off what he's been pulling off, he's got some connections in politics, right? He's got probably connections to the mob. He's got connections to Russian. Putin, I was y- yep. say. And he's been able to kind of get uh um help in all of these underworld places he's like a he's like al capone the confederacy and the underworld yeah and now we're seeing it in real time so here's the problem with that again it's pretty obvious he's not a genius so the only way for that to work is if he's got shit on everybody so Again, I go back to Epstein. Epstein was his best friend. Mm-hmm. The reason New York is the way it is, and I think, and we were talking about this, the reason all those documents got, they didn't give him the prosecution. They, it took a year. They, yeah. they they dumped them like a day before the trial. The trial was supposed to start, right? It was this like, week, it, it yeah. was that week. So they, they give them a million documents. That means there's somebody's in the DA office. That means there's somebody in law enforcement that's back in Trump. That right. means- that's what I'm saying. That he's got judges. Yep. That means that he's got DAs. There's people he's got, and I don't think it's because they like him. Mm-hmm. I think it's because he's got shit on him. Mm-hmm. Again, we had a bunch of hard drives and a bunch of computers that were left at Jeffrey Epstein's house, unprotected, disappeared two days after those guys cleaned it out. I, I, I still find it hard to believe that he is a blackmailing criminal mastermind. That, no, that that's, he's, that's simple. No, he's the useful idiot. <laughs> he's the one By that's who? willing to risk it all do and say anything i think russia i think yeah. all it's nancy pelosi said it all roads with you lead back to russia mm-hmm. so you go and look rachel maddow if you guys have a chance you should go watch her monday night episode where she s- details and didn't have enough time to start in the beginning in the 80s when he first started going to russia 1987 he for example, things that we forget because so many things have happened since. In in January, I mean, in 2016, when he was running and they were at the debate, the GOP debate, he, that, what was it, the third debate, the third Republican debate, that night, he went and signed a letter of intent with Moscow to open Trump, Trump Tower. Moscow. Trump Tower, Russia. Wow. 
And that in was Russia. The, but do you remember that deal? That and was he was deal. giving Putin the top floor. $50 million penthouse. Putin was going to, and he had already, he signed the deal during one of the Republican debates. Mm-hmm. So, Where he said, no, I don't have any business in Russia because right. Hillary Clinton pressed on that later. And every election cycle, there's always Russian interference and they're always trying to create. Oh, it um, started. Look, we have, you guys got to watch this episode, but she, she just reminded us of stuff. So Manafort, who mm-hmm. ended up being found guilty by a, a jury in, of his peers. Jail. One lady said that she left her MAGA hat in the car. She, he was guilty. There was evidence. Th- then, so he got pardoned by Trump, of course. But a GOP-led Senate panel did a report. It's You can go read it now, talking about Russian interference in the 2016 election. Yeah, it happened. And yep. they found that Manafort had was having ongoing commute manafort was running trump's campaign and was having ongoing communication with various high level russian politicians slash oligarchs and that's slash why he went in for being, being discussing polling numbers so that's them he, yep. no no he wasn't yeah he was giving them our polling yes. numbers yeah he was to russia he was sending yeah. the polling numbers for american election to russia so then Trump what about is bringing the, him back. Um, Trump is bringing Manafort back. So then, what? Wait, yes, that's my whole hey, point. Hey, bring your Manafort Get the back. Fuck. Right, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> so then they found that there were basically, t- you know, Ticketmaster call centers mm-hmm. in St. Petersburg where Russian hackers are just all day pumping out disinformation on yeah. social and gab and all this crap like Facebook my stepmother and, yeah. is reading and Facebook mm-hmm. and everywhere. Manafort is linked. He, he worked. That's what he did yeah. was worked getting money from Russia. So on the same day that Trump's lawyers filed this thing with New York saying he can't come up with this money, it's announced that he's bringing Manafort back. Manafort, whose only specialty was sourcing big dollars from Russian oligarchs. Yeah. 